What's up, buds? It's Fly High FPV, and I get asked a lot of questions about which goggles you want to fly, what's best for your drones, and I'm talking about for FPV, of course. So, uh, we got all the goggles lined up, and I've been testing every single goggle. I've tried them all back to back versus the V2s, and uh, here's where I'm going to tell you about them. The first is the goggles V2. They have the lowest resolution, but they have the lowest latency. They also have the most antenna options, which gives them the most range and penetration of any of the goggles on the market right now. So if you're flying an O3 air unit, you want the most range and penetration you can possibly get. Goggles V2. I know, they don't even make them anymore. You can still buy them refurbed and still buy them in the used market and they're still the best goggles that you can get if you want the most range and penetration. Next up, we got the Goggles 2, the Goggles Integra, and the Goggles 3. Now, these goggles are all really, really, really similar. They're very similar in specs. They've got the same screens. Uh, the first two have the same antenna setup. Uh, this one adds a GPS. This one keeps the GPS and adds two additional antennas for a total of six antennas. That allows for the O4 system. We'll talk about that in a minute. But if we're talking about these goggles, the Goggles 2, the Integra, and the Goggles 3 in comparison with the V2s, what do we got? Well, first thing we get is we get OLED screens. They're nice, rich, warm picture, nice warm image, but it's also only 100 frame per second screen. So instead of getting that 22 to 25 milliseconds of latency that we get with V2s, we're gonna be a little higher latency, about one extra frame. And so that's gonna put you around 25 to 28, even 30 milliseconds of latency on every single frame. So it does make a difference in the latency. It's not huge, it's still totally flyable, but if you're gonna try and optimize and get as good as you can possibly get, the lowest latency available right now is still the V2 goggles. Um, what do they bring to the table though? They bring higher resolution. You get a full 1080 instead of the 810 screen on the old. Um, but you also lose a couple things, like the batteries. Uh, you see the G2 goggles have the, uh, the battery pack. Uh, I was never a big fan of the battery packs just because they were expensive. It's two 18650s inside, uh, which they're actually Samsung cells. They're $3 a cell. It should cost about 6 bucks, but they charge $45 for a battery pack, and that drives me crazy. Um, but the battery on the old V2 was able to run full success. So we could take any old pack and rake, take the oldest pack out of your battery stack and run it in your goggles. You can even fly a pack, have a half used battery and put it on your goggles and still power up the goggles and continue to fly. Uh, as you go to the newer goggles though, you get built-in batteries. Uh, on the Integra is when they started with the built-in battery. This thing charges on USB. Uh, but if it dies in the field, you're kind of boned. Uh, same thing on the G3s. You got this built-in battery pack and uh, you're just reliant on USB packs. So you can get you a power brick like this and connect just the goggles in order to get extended flight time to keep going as long as you possibly can. And that is uh, what many of us will be doing. Um, but as far as right now, I own these goggles. And I've sold my Integras, I've sold my G2s, and I own the V2s. And I still am flying the V2s every day as my daily driver because they get just a little bit more range, a little bit more penetration. Uh, the reason I own G3s though is because O4 is coming. Uh, there's lots of leaks and rumors about when it's coming and what exactly is coming, but it is coming. It's coming soon. I've heard heard buddies of mine that are flying out on the west coast and already have them in hand and they're under NDA and not allowed to discuss it but uh, they're out there they really do exist and it won't be much longer whether we get it before Christmas or first quarter it's yet to be determined and we'll uh, we'll be really pouring into it when they, when they do get here but the rumor and expectation is that the only goggles that will have support on launch will be the Goggles 3 and the DJI Neos, uh, they're not on this table. You won't find the DJI Neos right here on this table because they're 60 hertz screens and we don't play 60 hertz. We play 120 hertz and 100 hertz. And if we drop down to 60 hertz, 
then our latency is going to go up even higher. And at that point, we're at the 30 to 40 milliseconds of latency, and that shit ain't going to fly. So you're not going to find them on my table. Uh, <laughs> so if you want 04, your options are the Neo N3 goggles, which only have 60 hertz, or the goggles 3 that are 120 hertz. So this is going to be the goggle to choose. Uh, the biggest difference that we see right out of the box with it is that you have six antennas on the front <laughs> instead of just two, instead of four on the previous packages. So you're going to have uh, more antenna options and actual dual band video system. Uh, the other big thing that we're looking forward to is the bandwidth options. Um, you know, when we were flying OG air units, we had two options: 25 megabit and 50 megabit. And 50 megabit was so good, but we only got the three channels. Uh, as we kept going forward, we got to this firmware in 03, we started seeing 20 megahertz and 40 megahertz instead of 25 and 50 megabits. And so we're now flying 03s, everything is on 40 megahertz to get the ideal signal. So when we go to goggles 3 and the DJI 04 system, we're going to get an additional bandwidth option of 60 megahertz or 75 megabits per second. And I'm hearing rumors that it'll even go all the way up to an 80 megahertz, but I'm not sure that we'll actually have access to that. It's definitely going to be 60 megahertz on launch, and that is very, very, very promising for us in FPV. A wider band is going to take up more signal of the sky, let less pilots fly at one time, but give the pilots that are in the air a juicier image, and that's what we're all wanting. We want a bigger, better picture into our eyeballs, and that's what 04 is promising. The other big thing that it seems to be coming in 04 is a new camera. Uh, the 03 cameras were great, but they sucked in low light, and we didn't have any options for a nighttime camera like we did with the DJI Polar, or Caddx Polar, whoever you want to pretend made it. It was made by DJI. The, uh, the polar camera, nighttime, we just haven't seen that shit. And since we haven't had that option, we've just been stuck with 03. 04 is definitely gonna have a larger sensor on the new camera. It's a bit bigger, uh, wider body. They didn't even have room to mount the screws in it. The screw posts stick out of the side of the camera body because the image sensor's taking up the entire housing. Uh, it's gonna be interesting for sure. I can't wait to uh, get a hold of it and start trying it and sharing it with you. But uh, the expectation is on release, only Goggles 3 are gonna have access to it. And that's why they're already in stock in my shop. And then potentially down the road, we're gonna see Integra and Goggles 2 get access to the O4 system. But I think this is the, uh, the opportunity that DJI has been finally waiting for to kill off our V2 goggles. Not necessarily kill them off, we'll still have them, still be able to fly the O3s and the Vistas and the OG air units with them. But I believe that they will not be getting the access to the, um, the full O4 system. So maybe the end of the old champs and we'll just have to give up on that lower latency and a little bit more range that we have in order to get uh, full O4 access. Uh, what do you guys think though? Will you be upgrading? Do you want the 04? Uh, 03 at the new price of $180 is really, really alluring. Um, to me, it kills the, the Vista entirely just because of the better image quality and the onboard DVR. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see. And I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, if you ever have questions or need answers or want to know more about any kind of FPV systems, please reach out to me, flyhighfpv.com. Uh, I've got the goggles in stock. Uh, the O3 air units are restocking, and the O4 air units, man, I hope they're here any day now. I am just waiting and have them here as quickly as possible from the USA with USA warranties. And only one place, flyhighfpv.com, here for the people. <laughs> you know, telling you that these are still the best goggles on the market today, not the ones that are newer that I sell. Telling you that's where you want to be if you can. But also telling you 
that things are about to change and we'll be here in the very near future. Much love. Happy flying, you guys. Peace.